Hello guys, this is my office. Um, I'm going to start uh, making my Sith Holocron now. Um, there's a few different designs um, for Sith Holocrons. Uh, so, I started messing around with it. And... <laughs> I'm going to take half of uh, my Jedi Holocron's mechanism and use that. And uh, then I'm going to do sort of like a twist, uh, like a threaded rod. And then whenever you turn it, the twist will move up or down. Um, I think that'll work really well. So that's going to be the center corner of uh, the pyramid. So that's going to be the center point is right here. Um, and I like that. And I think doing the th the three sides or the six sided pyramid would be a good way of doing it as well, because um, it would be a very unique look. It's sort of like some of the ancient um, pyramids uh, or uh, uh, talismans were were similar to that. Uh, so I was thinking about doing it in like three. It problem with it with it being you know the four sides, uh, you know one on the bottom, three on each. Um, is that you don't you're not left with a lot of wiggle room uh, in the middle for for your device. So I'll uh, I'll start off with modeling it and seeing what it looks like. Yeah, I'm gonna have probably about five or uh, uh, probably about two big parts. I'm gonna have all three big sides be one part and I'm gonna have one bottom piece and I'm gonna have uh, the different corners I think this is called the the capstone and then these are just the corners a lot of the time they have writing on them uh, sort of uh, written in Sith um, I don't know Sith <laughs> but we can try that out uh, see see what we want I might need to do more sketching by, by the time this is all done but um, I think this is a good baseline to start uh, start modeling uh, the basic Star Wars Rebels aesthetic one, but do it in the Darth Bane amount of sides. So uh, four sides instead of uh, uh, five, like you would usually have for like an Egyptian pyramid. Um, so yeah, I think my angles are going to be a little bit different. A few of my objects are going to be slightly different, uh, but it should be a fun little... 3D modeling. I'll probably do it in a couple of stints um, to really get it polished enough to, uh, to the point where I'd be comfortable with printing it and seeing if it'll work. Anyway, enjoy the modeling. Da da da, da da, filler, da da da. Besides, and this is the cornerstone, and that's re a really important part. It's supposedly, like where the <laughs> where the dark side energy is funneled into is through there. Um, and then this is the complex matrix in it. They get into it, the Darth Bane book, because he gets interested in making his own holocron. And he fails. A few times. Alright. Alrighty, so I wanted to uh, describe sort of what I'm doing during the modeling process here. A lot of this uh, early stages kind of looks a little odd, but... All I'm doing is just sort of making the line work for the complex detail that's inside the holocron. So uh, it takes just a lot of uh, pen work and adding lines, getting rid of some things, just making everything look clean, um, shifting around points, getting that overall feel how you want it. Um, and that's and I'm just starting off with the basic line work, uh, the central line work for each of those ridges. Um, and, and I'm just moving them around, getting it in, into shape. Uh, again, trying to get that general feel to be as accurate as I can. Getting all my, my things. I'm eating lunch there. I, I, I ate a quesadilla. It was a pretty good quesadilla. It was like a chicken and uh, bean quesadilla. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to just continue doing that. Uh, line work. Now I'm making an offset for all the surfaces uh, so that I can have a physical thing I'm extruding and not just a line. So all those lines I made are just offset. 
and then I'm bullying unioning all the curves in order for them to be one thing I can extrude onto uh, my little triangle. And yeah, and building the surface from here is uh, pretty quick. Um, doesn't take too long. I, I just get my, my angles right, uh, my, my overall form right, and then it's just a series of extruding and cutting. So I'll extrude onto a face and I'll split it and, and work with it from there. Yeah. Oh, I'm just checking. This this part is just me checking out how it looks in the render. Because all the basic work's done. The biggest thing is just getting all those curves put together, split in the corners. I decided to have round corners uh, for the bottom cor uh, three uh, because I thought it looked a little bit better. And then I made it different, uh, little, little uh, you know, interior and exterior uh, for for the dual extrusion. And I like how the dual extrusion came out. I thought that was a really good, uh, fun little thing I did. But yeah, this was just me. I wanted to print it solid to see what it would be like. And I, I actually did this in glow in the dark filament, which you'll see later in a little bit. I'll, I'll bring it outside and then bring it into a dark area and you'll be able to see uh, sort of the inner green glow of a Sith holocron. It's not red, but. Red glow in the dark filament just doesn't quite have the same impact as the green. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm using silly putty as like masking tape to sort of stop the uh, paint from getting where I, I don't want it. And uh, yeah, I'm just time lapsing through the the rest of it of uh, getting off the rest of the silly putty. I really like it. Taking off the masking tape is like one of the most fun parts of some of these old projects. Anyway. That's what it looks like all painted. I just used an airbrush for all that, that painting there. Yeah, 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 here it is. Look, look, it's, it's in the daylight. <gasps> now it glows. Yes, let the glow. Yeah, I like it. And it's got uh, sort of a shimmer to it when you put it part way into the light and it sort of reflects in a funny way. Uh, I might do it in here, I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See that shimmer? Oh, that looks so good. Yeah. I, th I think I took a picture of it uh, with that shimmer. Oh, man. That, 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 I, I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, guys. Uh, so you probably just saw the um, glow-in-the-dark uh, one. So... That, that one I love doing. I, I did the silly putty on it. I really enjoyed it. Uh, and then I, I modified the file so that I could also print it with a dual extrusion uh, sort of way of doing it. So um, I had access to a dual extrusion printer. Uh, and to the people who watch this that are from my work, yes, I paid for this. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this uh, this one came out really nice. It's kind of hard to see in uh, the darkness. All right, but it's got all the detailing in it. Uh, you can sort of see. Um, I think I'm done with my little Sith holocron now. Um, I might do a painted version of it at some point. That's not just the plain. Maybe some kind of weathered look, but usually I kind of like this sort of clean nature of it. I might do the dual extrusion again, but with different colors. But for now, I think this uh, this project is is complete. I, yeah, this was a fun little thing. It's it's weird. The scale of it is feels kind of small. It's supposed to be about uh, three inches uh, in height, so that's that dimension. Three inches this dimension roughly, um, which I think it's a little bit shorter in this direction, but some of them are equilateral, some of them look a little bit more isosceles, or mirrored isosceles or whatever, triangles. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, uh, I, got, I also glued it so that the corners are kind of offset, like it was partially opened or something. Uh, and yeah, I, I think, I, because I, I went with the Rebels sort of, feel for this so yeah 
uh, yeah, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini project. Um, it was a lot of fun to put together. Uh, yeah. If you guys want the file, I'll be putting it up online. Um, if I have by the time I edit this video, I'll give you the link on the screen or uh, uh, in the description below. Uh, and you guys can, can buy it. I don't know, I'll probably only put it online for a couple, a couple bucks or something. Uh, or, or free, I don't know yet. We shall see. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.